Millions of people use Outlook daily, but I'm sure a small percentage of those users are unlocking the full potential of this application. Let's take a look at 10 really cool features of Outlook that you may not have known about. The first tip I want to share with you is all about saving time. You can save time by hitting like on an email in Outlook Web Access. With an email selected, click the thumbs up button you see in the right hand corner of the email. This tells the sender that you've read and acknowledged the email without having to send a written confirmation. If someone likes your email, you'll receive a notification in Outlook Web Access. Are you a big television or sports fan? If you are, you're going to love tip number two. In Outlook Web Access, you can navigate to your calendar and select Interesting Calendars from the toolbar. This will open a pane that allows you to browse through various sports categories and teams or various television stations to find your favorite TV show. When you find the team or show you'd like to add, just click the name and their calendar will be made available to you in Outlook. You can also sync your Google or iPhone calendar to Outlook as well. Have you at mentioned someone yet? If you need to get someone's attention in an email, all you have to do is put an at sign before writing their name. You can even use at mentions in the body of the email to add the person's name to your recipient list. When the email hits their inbox, it will have an at sign displayed in the top right hand corner and their name will be highlighted in the body of the email. Tip number four is going to be a double header tip for you guys and it is all about cleaning up your inbox quickly. First let's talk about ignoring emails, but not in a mean way. It can be frustrating when your inbox fills up with emails that just don't require your attention. The ignore feature allows you to silence those unnecessary notifications. Next time one of those emails comes into your inbox, right click on it and choose ignore. This will send all future emails with the same subject line into your deleted items folder. Next, let's look at the cleanup feature, which moves redundant emails out of your inbox and into your deleted items folder. Only the most recent email from the conversation or thread will remain in your inbox for your review. When in your inbox, look in the folder tab to find the cleanup folder option. It's super quick and super easy. Speaking of quick, has anyone told you about quick parts yet? Tip number five is all about quick parts, which let you create auto text of phrases and sentences you write often in your email. Are you constantly writing out directions to your location, policies, or answers to commonly asked questions? Quick parts allows you to save time when composing emails. When you've composed a new email and you've written the text that you would like saved, highlight the text and navigate to the insert tab and choose quick parts. You have the option to save the selection in the auto text gallery. You can also save images and symbols here as well, which is great if you regularly send maps or product images. Tip number six is all about searching your inbox. Do you often go searching for the same item in your inbox all the time? You can create custom search folders in Outlook that will keep a copy of the email you find yourself looking for all the time or just to keep emails of specific topics together. Scroll down your folder list on the left until you see search folders. Right click on search folder and select new search folder. Here you can scroll through different criteria for your new search folder. I like to create custom search folders that allow me to enter specific criteria for filtering. When an email is sent to you, the email will still reach your inbox and you can file it away as you normally do, but a copy of the email is made available for quick access in your new search folder. Did you know Teams and Outlook are best friends? Their calendars talk all the time, and if you update one, the other will automatically sync up as well. Another way that you can use Outlook and Teams together is with document sharing. You can socialize an email that you've received or one that you're going to send by adding a team channel's email address to the email before pressing send. Yes, you heard that right. Every channel created in Teams has an email address. You can copy the email address by navigating to the channel in Teams and by clicking the ellipsis beside the channel and choosing get email address. 
You can paste that address into an email and a copy of the email will be posted to the conversation tab of that channel. Now your team can review, discuss, or even help you action that email item. Another cool thing you can do with email is create appointments or meeting invitations from them. Click the email from your inbox and drag it to the calendar icon. This will open an appointment dialog box where you can set a date and time and add recipients. Did you know that when you're selecting a date for your event, you could write three days in the start field and it will populate the date that is three days from today. Sometimes it's quicker than pulling out a calendar to figure out the dates. Tip number nine focuses on voting buttons, which let you poll people if you have a Microsoft Exchange server. To use voting buttons, create a new email or reply to an email as you normally would and write out the question you would like to create the poll for in the body of the email. Now you can navigate to the Options tab and click Use Voting Buttons. You can choose a standard Yes, No, Maybe poll or create a poll with customized options. If you choose custom options, separate the options with a semicolon. When the recipient receives the email, they will see a banner indicating they must click there to cast their vote. You will receive an email that outlines each recipient's individual response. You can also open your sent mail and double click the original message that you sent and click tracking. This will compile all of the results together for your review, as well as show you a breakdown of the individual responses. These responses can be copied and pasted into other applications like OneNote or Excel. Our final tip is all about saving time by minimizing mouse clicks. Here are some of our favorite shortcuts. Your navigation tab has a tab for mail, calendar, tasks, people, and more depending on how you've customized it. You can move between these elements by selecting Control-1 for mail, Control-2 for calendar, Control 3 for tasks and Control 4 for people. The order will depend on your placement of these items. You can create a brand new email by using Control N. Once you've composed your email, use Alt S to send your email. If you've received an email, you can use Control R to reply or you can use Alt Control R to reply all. Remember the ignore option we spoke about? Well, there's a shortcut for that as well. Click Control Delete and then select Ignore. This will let you mute the email thread as we spoke about earlier. In your calendar view, you can choose Control G and that allows you to jump to specific dates within your calendar. You can change your calendar view by using Alt Control 1 to view the day in your calendar. Alt Control 2 to view your work week, which will show you Monday to Friday. Alt Control 3 allows you to view the seven day week. Alt Control 4 will allow you to view your month. Thank you so much for stopping by today. We hope that you learned some new and valuable tricks to use with Outlook. For more information, visit our website listed below and don't hesitate to subscribe. Take care and have a productive day.